furious Twitter users hit out at Prince William after a mental health partnership between the Duke and Apple Fitness was announced. The future king will be partnering with the fitness brand as part of their hashtag Time to Walk campaign, which is designed to encourage people to walk more often for their mental health. Announcing the partnership in a press release, Kensington Palace said, Prince William will appear on a special festive episode of Time to Talk on Monday 6 December, encouraging people to take some time out and walk for their mental health over the Christmas period. Time to Walk is an audio walking experience from Apple Fitness designed to encourage people to walk more often and reap the mental and physical benefits from one of the healthiest activities. It explained, Prince William's walk takes him through the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, from Sandringham House, past Street, Mary Magdalene Church, and ending eventually in Anma. During the episode, His Royal Highness talks about the importance of keeping mentally fit, reflects on a light-hearted moment when he was drawn out of his comfort zone, the value of listening as a way to empower others, and an experience that led him to prioritize mental health. Prince William also chooses three of his favorite songs and explains why they are important to him. However, fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were quick to criticize the campaign, with many criticizing the Duke of Cambridge for copying Meghan and Harry. One user, Viva Yolu, said, this copycat thing is getting out of hand. Another, Alib, agreed, writing, everything Harry and Meghan does copycat and Willie does the same. Other users hit out at the Prince for lacking credibility when it comes to mental health. Reggie Cool said, it's a great concept, I love walking on my lunch breaks but he has no credibility when it comes to mental health. Another user, Fitzscott2507, said that Prince William has no right to talk about mental health. While Hudson Square wrote, too bad he didn't care about Meghan's mental health. Arne Lu One added, this is such fluff. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have campaigned on the issue of mental health for years, encouraging people to speak up and get help when they need it. Along with Prince Harry, the couple started the initiative Heads Together, which aims to tackle the stigma surrounding mental health. However, the royal family have faced controversy over their approach to mental health, after the Duchess of Sussex spoke about her own battle with mental illness in her interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. The controversial interview saw her admit that her mental health deteriorated to such an extent while she was pregnant with Archie that she was having suicidal thoughts. She told Oprah, look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry especially, because I know how much loss he's suffered, but I knew that if I didn't say it, then I would do it. And I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear, real and frightening constant thought. The Duchess also claimed that, when she went to one of the most senior people in the institution to ask for help, she was turned away. Meghan said, I went to the institution and I said I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said, I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere, and I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution.